Vsauce, Michael here. Come on in. And for this reason, it has been said that the human body is like a donut. Yeah, you are just a bunch of meat packed around a central hole. Or are you? Humans have more than one hole, right? I mean, we've got nostrils and ears, the holes we pee out of, the holes we're born from, nipples, our pores. Gosh, there are subatomic gaps between the molecules we're made out of. Where don't we have holes? Well, that is the rub. Literally. If you cut a clove of garlic in half and then rub that fresh raw end on your foot, about an hour later, you will start to taste garlic in your mouth. That's because the molecules that give garlic its taste are small enough and have just the right properties to permeate skin cells in your foot, enter your bloodstream, and reach your mouth. But you are even holier than that. Every second, day and night, about 60 billion neutrinos from the sun pass through just your thumbnail. So clearly, at small enough scales, how many holes does a human have? Eat a whole donut. Have I eaten the hole? Like, is the hole inside me? Or could I eat a donut without eating its hole? Could I go to a store and buy Swiss cheese, but leave the holes at the store? Clearly, holes are, at best, ontologically parasitic. Their existence depends upon the existence of something else that they can inhabit or be a disturbance in. Of course, the philosophy of holes rarely matters in your day-to-day -day life. You can call something a hole, and context will do its work, and people will know what you're talking about. But take a look at this. Does this have a hole in it? Well. Yeah, right, obviously, right here, there's a hole. I can put my hand in it, it can store things, it's got a hole. But now imagine that I could mold it like it was made out of clay, and I molded it down into the shape of a drinking glass. You could see how that could happen, right? Well, does a drinking glass have a hole in it? If this does, then this should too, right? I mean, I didn't pinch the hole shut or glue anything together. All right, sure, fine. I mean, I can accept that a drinking glass technically has a hole in it. But now, imagine that I took this glass and I molded it out and I widened its opening until I had a shape like this, a bowl. Now, does a bowl have a hole in it? Now we're really stretching the use of the word hole. I mean, if someone said their bowl had a hole in it, I would think that it had a hole somewhere else and it was leaking. But sure, let's call this a hole. It's not a very prototypical one, but I think you see where I'm going with this. If I then molded the bowl and flattened its sides all the way out until I had a plate, a shape like this, well, does a plate have a hole in it? Not really. So if a plate doesn't have a hole in it, but this shape did, and I continuously molded from here to the glass to the bowl to the plate, and I never glued anything shut, where'd the hole go? Clearly, blind holes are through hole or pretty unique. They can be removed without closing or pinching anything shut. Compare that to the through hole of a donut. There is no way to remove a donut's through hole or add a new through hole without gluing stuff together, squishing things together that used to not be together, or ripping pieces apart, poking a hole through and breaking it. That is through hole, 